This is a quick tutorial on how we can use RStudio to perform a two-sample t-test. So first we want to get our data into the program. So we can either do that with vectors like this, or we can do it from a data set. Either way, go ahead and make sure that you have titles for your two different samples for, for your data. So if we want to do a two-sample t-test, then we can use the command t.test, where our first sample is put first, and so that's going to be server A in this example, and then the second sample will be server B. And then we're going to put in our hypothesis sized difference. So in most two sample t-tests the claimed difference will be zero. It might be something different and you can put that here. The default if you don't even put anything in here will be mu equal to zero. So just as a heads up. Alright so the alternative hypothesis we're going to do a lower one-sided test and so I'm going to put in a less for less than for my alternative and then I'm going to perform this test with a confidence level of 0.95 or a significance level of 0 0.05 that's the same thing so let's go ahead and run this and I get my output down here let's open this up it says a Welch's two sample t-test and again server A and server B so Welch's just basically is the type of procedure in this example this is where we don't assume the variances are equal to each other in our population, so it's a different type of procedure than some other types of t-tests. Our t-test statistic is negative 3.1868. The degrees of freedom are the Satterweight approximation degrees of freedom, so that's 37.096, and we get a p-value of 0 0.004159. So in this example, you can see that you get a confidence interval, but it's a one-sided confidence interval. This might not be great for interpretation, so instead what we want to do is we want to get a two-sided confidence interval. So how can we do that without having to just kind of plug and chug and calculate it by hand? We can use this t.test again, but instead of having an alternative hypothesis of less, we just keep the default, which is a two-sided test, and we define our level of confidence, and then we use this dollar sign conf.int. This will just pull out the confidence interval from the two-sided procedure. So this will be then the two-sided confidence interval. We can see that it's a 95%, and the confidence interval will go from negative 1.34 to negative 0.2. 97. So we can just pull out the confidence interval here. All right, if we also wanted to change up the alternatives, we're more than welcome to do that. So instead of doing a less than, maybe we want to do a two sided test. So is it just different than each other? Then we can do two dot sided and we can run this. And sure enough, we'll get. The same test statistic, the same degrees of freedom as before, but the p-value will be uh, actually double. And it will also say true difference in means is not equal to zero. And then it will again give us that confidence interval that we just pulled out, the mean of our server A and the mean of server B. So mean of X, mean of Y. And that's how we can read the software output from a two-sample t-test in R and how we can perform a two-sample t-test in R.